Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And your boy, Stanley. <laughs> really? This is what we're doing? <laughs> so before we get into the recap, I want to give a huge shout out to all of you all that have been wishing us a happy birthday. This Indeed. is our month. He was on 8-8. No, 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah, I was 8-18. Eight. Eight, exactly. This past Friday. And on this past Friday, we woke up to a nice little um, gift in our um, PayPal account. Our PayPal has been down in our, like Lady Nick would say, our panty section for the long, for, you know, about a month or so. Yeah. I don't do it for that, but somebody convinced me to go ahead and set that up because they wanted to bless us. And we got a good, a good birthday blessing from a dude named Will. So, Will, we thank you so, so much. We appreciate it. For blessing us on our birthday. Indeed. We put that thing to good use. Yes, we indeed. We don't be overeating <laughs> like a mug. So, let's get into this review. I would say right off the bat. These spoilers really ruined it for me. Like, seriously, I'm almost at a point where I don't feel like even doing the rest of them. I started yeah. watching the, the leaked ones, and then I was like, nah. But I still know everything that happened because everybody on social media keeps talking. Yeah. So when we do these, I'm not even surprised anymore. Mm -hmm. So even when this happened, I was like, okay, I already knew how it was going to happen. It took the sting out of it. Yeah. So we're not going to go scene by scene. Everything like What's Mike Beagle said, like, group together. Yeah. Let's get into it. Throw it all together. That ain't me. And before we get before we get started, I want to say this too. If you coming in, I think this is episode nine. If you haven't caught the rest of it, down in the panic section, I got a link to the to the got doing playlist. You can click on that and you can binge watch us. You got even call it random TV reviews, binge weekend, whatever you want to do. But let's get into it. Yeah, it's not a Netflix and chill unless you want it to be a rand uh, random. Get TV. you a random and chill. Ah. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> So we start off the episode, we see Tariq over the school, he all well dressed because he want to go to the school there in Connecticut. <laughs> so he was interviewing and the dude was like, supposed to be such a smart kid and he had a little transcript. He was like, you was doing good and all of a sudden you fell off, your grades fell off. And you know, Tariq always got to come back. He said, well sir, you know my dad. He you in know, the back coaching him. <laughs> yeah, my dad, you know. Got, you know, falsely accused and, you know, there's a lot of stress on me. So, <laughs> you know, my grades went down. You know, I wasn't doing too good, but that's why I want to come here so I can rebound and I can start over. Boo skip. You trying to get you away from it. brains there, man. <laughs> yeah, you 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 don't want to get killed by brains <laughs> there. <laughs> so you trying to freaking get out of Dodge. That's what you trying to do. Yeah, I don't blame her. I think doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, I ain't gonna snitch, but I might disappear on your home. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> Do you so? Be like Federal Machiavelli on you. Mm-mm. Yes, sir. So, later on in, in the episode, we see that uh, Brains and them are sitting around and Ray Ray came to them and confronted them about that stuff at the white lady house. So, he was like, let me know if that was y'all so we can clean it up. It don't even matter. So, he ended up shooting them. Which I didn't understand. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I, I thought he was gonna help him out, but we know Ray Ray is a dirty cop, so yeah, you can't, you can't trust him. But Ray Ray, the guys who had admitted to him, he was like, "Yeah, it was us, but we didn't make the deal go wrong. It was that dead on soft day kid Tariq. Tariq did it, yeah. And Ray, I mean, um, Ray Ray said Tariq is not the one you need to worry about. His daddy is a killer. Mm -hmm. He crazy as hell. Yeah. And you gotta realize this little no is friends with Kanan. Uh -huh. So you got him and him that's probably gonna come back with some heat on y'all harm parts. Exactly. But I can make that go away for you. I guess that going away for him was the pop pop. The pop pop. Yep. Cause I was like, why? Yep. <laughs> but anyway, so we see him, he go to the school looking for Tariq. He come into Raina's class asking Raina if she know what Tariq was. Of course, she ain't gonna spill a bean. So I don't know where he at right now. I see, no that pissed me all the way off. Cause why? Because you know that that principal, the dean or whatever she is, mm -hmm. she already mad because that little tuition. <laughs> that little deal, yeah. <laughs> Why you ain't call her to the office? You got yeah. a cop coming up in her classroom and everybody looking at her. You, She the only black kid there right now. Yeah. Already looking something. So you're back. playing into the stereotype. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The cop is here to see you, Raina. <laughs> and the kid, school kids is already teasing them already. She was like, my brother's not here today. So we see her when she get out of school, she go home and she, Tariq is laying in the bed because he done had all that lean, he toe up, he tuck. He lean in. Yeah. And so she's like, hey, this cop named Raymond came into school looking for you, are you in trouble? He was like, oh, that's Ray Ray. She was like, huh? He I was, was like, surprised he, could, he told her that. He, he was like, whatever you do, you can't tell because you're going to make it worse. Both of us going to be in trouble if you tell that. 
So she was like, uh, I'm not Y'all gonna tell it. it out. Yeah. Voice her boom. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna tell it. But I had a feeling that Randall was not gonna listen to Tariq because she don't ever ever listen ever since he done busted up her arm and push her in the flow, talking all that booze skit, she ain't trying to hear nothing he gotta say. Hmm. So we see Tommy on the phone. <laughs> Talking to Therese, he he turned back into a little kid every yeah, time he yeah. talked to Therese. He hey. he be all smiling and grinning, and so Therese was like, <coughs> he thanked Therese for um killing um Mike, and uh, he said, but I need a favor. I said, here you go, here you go, the bus I, I I I want you to come on down and see me. <laughs> so Tommy was like. Well, I would do it, but you know, I'm a federal criminal, so I can't come there. They, they ain't fitting to let me in there. So if I come in there, I'm going to be on the uh, other side of the yeah, bar. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I only way I come see you, I'm going to be in cuffs. <laughs> so that ain't what you want. So Teresa going to say, you know what? They, they, you know, they bend the rules a little bit for close family members. All I need you to do is prove that you are my son, and you can come on up here and pay me so a how visit. how the hell I'm going to do that? He said... Your mama Kate mm. got something. Yep, she got the paperwork to get her. I said, Lord. I said, him. oh, hey. so that set set him in a crazy motion. He went back over to Karen's house. Karen. Kate. Kate. <laughs> his mom's house. And he ransacked that bag. He had stuff everywhere. <laughs> tearing a dog Tan, uh, up. Yeah, tearing stuff up, throwing stuff, cussing and fussing. And she didn't want to give up. She didn't want to give it up. But she started fussing about them crazy dogs. And so he was like, I'll break up all these song bees if you don't give me what Teresa said you have as proof that he my dad. And then she tried to fake him out with, you know, the um the modified version of his birth certificate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when somebody make an error on it, they go ahead and give you a modified version of it. He said, this ain't it. Mm -hmm. Teresa said that you had something that could prove it. Tommy saw that dead on piece of paper and he said, wait a minute. He was there? He was, huh? He was there? He said, my name is... What is it? Thomas Patrick Teresi. He gave me his name. And you know, Kate, Kate went all into confessional mode. She said, listen, he was trying to take you. They were trying to take you because his wife could not have kids. They wanted to raise you as if you were his wife's yeah. child. And I could not have you with that man. He's a bad man. He's a criminal. He's, He's a, a killer. murderer. Thomas said, I'm a criminal. I'm a murderer. It runs in the family. <laughs> she said, listen, do not go and see that man. I, I dare you, I double D dare you to go up there and see that man. <laughs> Tommy said, listen, if you try something with me, I'm not the one. And she was like, Tommy, Tommy. He said, mama, what you think happened to Holly? Looked at that then Nicholas and mama was like, right. we um, cool. Yeah, we all good. Go see your dad. But this is the part that got me. He told his mama, I don't want to ever see you again. And his mom was his road dog, man. See, this will piss me off about some some people. It happens all the daggone time. Yeah. Somebody will come back in your life like a parent or something, and they'll go ahead and spin it so that everything seems like it's your mama fault, your daddy fault, your uncle fault, everybody lied to you. I come in as a superhero, and all of a sudden, yeah, she lied. She she did. She did her dirt. Oh, she lied, yeah. But you going to turn your back on your mama, dog? I think the reason why he turned because at first she was spending it as if he walked out and didn't want to be there. But he found out yeah. that he was at the hospital. He signed the paperwork. She was the one that threw him out didn't want to Oh, it was yeah. a big lie. Yeah. Oh, but don't yeah. forget all the other stuff that Kate don't helped you out with. Yeah, true that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't, mm-mm. And your mom was a, is a head too? So you can't you know bite, the, bite the hand that fed you. You can't turn over on no head. Yeah. You going to jail, dog. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so Tommy took that guy doing um that birth pay. certificate uh -huh. and he took his original card back, the card that has a bug under it. Now I can't remember and I don't even care. Yeah, I don't who either. put the bug there. We but think it was Mike, but I don't I, I said, well if it's Mike, it probably died with Mike too. Yeah. Because he probably did it underhandedly. But I'm sitting here like Tommy, don't drive that car. <laughs> he's he's snorting his white horse. He done gone said, back. Oh, hell. He had kicked the habit. He had kicked the habit. Now he you gone think back. so? He under a whole lot of stress. He got all glassy. Uh -huh. I said, here uh -huh. go. Uh-huh. It is. It ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be good. So he gone take his little paperwork. He gone down there and talk to Teresa. And they <laughs> looking at each other like through the glass like, man. They was beavers and buttheads. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy said, man, you look like an old version of me. <laughs> he said, look at you. Look at looking you. like you looking. Uh, he said, he said, Tommy, how you been? How you doing? He said, man, I've been better. 
He said, there's something I can take care of for you. He ready to do some more work. And Tommy was like, yeah, I can ready to say, what is Tommy going to ask him I to do? I know what it is. He was like, I want to meet the rest of my family. See, Tommy wants the Teresa, the killer squad on his hands. Uh-huh. Because we ain't got there yet. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't, yeah, we ain't got there yet. So, we see Dre. Oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> do we got to talk about him? <laughs> so, Dre plan is still in motion with him working for the Jimenez. Jimenez. So, Jimenez. I'm getting we right. know somebody named Jimenez. That's why I keep saying it. Yeah. Yeah. But, anyway. but let me tell you something. Can I butt in real quick? Yeah, go on and get in there. I'm going to get in trouble with this one, but you know I don't really care. I don't trust nobody with that haircut like Dre. <laughs> Everybody I know that got a haircut like that, they full of skit. <laughs> a mohawk? It's, the, it's not even a mohawk. It come out right here. It, it just, just part is the cut. Everybody I know that got that haircut is full of skit. <laughs> And if you watch it, you got that hair cut, you full of skit too. They probably say, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Own it. <laughs> Own it. <laughs> so, he close to closing this deal with the Jimenez without a word. Mommy told them that I'm going to be able to deliver all of Tommy's premiere to you, plus those hotels. So, Dre's plan is, they go into the warehouse, him and the other dude, I can't even Crystal forget. Crystal Ball. Yeah, Crystal Ball. They go into the warehouse, and they burn up all the product. Burn it all up. And I was trying to figure out how in the world they were going to spin it where Tommy didn't know that it was actually them. So by the time that Tommy got back and found out everything was burnt up, the premieres is fussing like, look here, Tommy, you done fucked up again. We out. They said it was electrical we gone. Fire. They told me, yeah, like, we gone. We out this time. And Tom was like, you know what? I'm good. I've always delivered for y'all. Just give me, just give me 48 hours. And let me make it right. To make it right. Father Keller had him. We prayed together. Yeah. We can, matter of fact, we need to fast and pray, have faith that the Lord is going to make a way and going to bring the product back plus the cash. We got to believe it. You're going to say name it and claim it. We got to do it. Amen. So, of course, Crystal Ball was like, I'm out. I ain't. And so he told me, told him, you can walk. What's part of the plan? Mm -hmm. So he decide he walks. So by this time, Tommy trying to figure out what the hell he gonna do. So we see him going asking Jason for a favor. So Jason ended up saying that he would help him, but he didn't crew, want to. He didn't want to. The crew didn't. Well, matter of fact, the crew said we should have killed him like we did for <laughs> Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so he decided to go talk to t talk to uh, uh, Tasha. Tasha. Say Tasha, I need I, I I need I need help. I'm in a bad situation. I need you to go to the weave shop. I need you to sell some weed and clean me some money. Clean me some money. Tasha was like, I can't do it this time. I'm going, I'm going straight. She I'm going like, straight trying to take all the ghost money and go over there with that guy doing silver. Yeah. Ugh. I'm trying to go straight. So he was like, I know what this is about. It's about Keisha, ain't it? She was like, no. It's, it's about, about me. He I'm said, trying to get my life together. The dick Tasha go ask him, said, that Mike Sandoval. What happened with that? <laughs> we took care of that. We took care no of that. No thanks to you. <laughs> Tommy is on one tonight. He was funny as hell in this episode. Yeah, he was funny. So then he go, he ride, and I don't know how in the hell he found Keisha. But Keisha was walking that street wide open. He said, where you going so fast? You going, you trying to go watch another episode of Love, Love and Hip Hop? I said, you know what? You wrong for that, Tommy. You the only white boy that could say that to a black person. So he was like, come on, get in the car. Let's talk about it. You know, so she was hesitating. She finally got in the car. He apologized, and I'm sorry. I went to Chicago. You know, I've been having a whole lot of problems. I found out oh, that my that my daddy is still alive. My my mama's effed up. I'm effed up. He effed he up. He effed up. We all effed up. <laughs> he said, "Please give me a chance. Give me a chance." I love. He said, "I would love for you to help me out." Yep. Can you clean some of goddamn money through the weed shop? I thought she was gonna do it. Got the kissing. And she said, nah, nah Tommy, not I today. I can't do it. I'm she, not the one. I'm not the one. This is the part that tripped me out. She said, just because you, you laid out some good dick. Yeah, just because you had me dickmatized. I know. <laughs> uh -uh, I said, wait a minute. Tommy, we've we, we, we been talking about your goddamn no stroke game, but you must be working with something. Yeah, it must be, yeah. Uh-huh. So I actually thought he had her. But, me too. But she didn't, but she, she didn't fall for the, uh, she didn't fall for the okie doke. So by this time, his last resort, he had to go talk to Ghost. So he come to Ghost them house <laughs> high as a kite. <laughs> I thought he was gonna pick old Rain up. Yeah. He said, "Look at you looking like you looking. Yeah. Where you going?" She said, "I'm going to the school dance." dance. <laughs> he said, "Hey, Tariq, 
keep keep the boys off your sister that it goes i need to talk so to you real you. quick but he leads the way <laughs> yeah but you know that's time in house too pretty much so he told ghost he walked there he said ghost i need all the money that you owe me from canaan somebody stirring whoever somebody somebody i need you to write the check now i need some clean money well i agree because y'all yeah. took his money yeah money <laughs> now, i ain't even mad at time on that one so ghost was like man why you you need to stop coming to my house high he said, you all messed up, man. You done went back smoking your own product again. Uh, you think you you thinking that Teresi is your daddy? He was like, he is my daddy. I got proof. I went there. I went there. I, I, ever say nothing about I ever say nothing about him again. And he was like, you know, he brought up Holly's name. He said, don't you ever talk about Holly. I said, darn. And so it got so heated. That song be in the head button go. He said, doof. Go say, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the last time, time you, you stole, stole me. me. What did he say? We were you were 14. He said, I still got the scar right here. Still got right the scar in. right here. He said, I'm going to go ahead and write you this check. Get out of my house and don't you ever come to my house high no more. Don't ever come to my house Basically high no Basically what he said, like, motherfucker, if you don't get out of my house right now, I'm going <laughs> to kill you. I'm going to kill you right here where you stay. You better be glad I just got out of jail. Ain't Tom, I don't want to be ghost no more. Yeah. I want to be St. Patrick. He so said, that ain't who I, I am. I ain't you ate today. I said, okay. So then time to go turn around and look at him and say, Teresi, before you think about putting your finger on him, without my say so, I'm a kid. I'm a kid. <laughs> Every time Simon yeah. say he gonna kill ghosts. He gonna kill ghosts. He can't kill ghosts. He can't do it. He can't do it. Look, they might spend that skit and that stuff happen just because we say it. And I'm gonna be so pissed. So we see Tasha and Terry at their house. I don't, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, this is the it. dumbest thing in the world that you gonna cheat at the man's house. Was it at her house was or his? It, it, it looked like it was their house. I don't, I don't really know. care. It looked like it was their house, but it don't matter because we don't want them to go. But, uh. Yeah, I don't want Tasha with nobody right now. She he, needs to be uh, single. Yeah, he, he gonna say, you know, Tasha, um, I told y'all that, you know, Mike was in <laughs> custody and 24 hours later he was dead. You know anything about that? She, she was no. like, no. She was like, he was dirty. He, he was a dirty cop, so anybody could have killed him. And Terry was like, man, yeah, yeah, you right. But I, I know said, Terry, you better watch your guy don't back. You sleep with a murderer's <laughs> wife. And then, <laughs> yeah. So she go to tell him, say, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm going straight. She said, matter of fact, um, I need an investment because I'm getting ready to expand the weave shop. Me and Keisha are about to ready to make a whole lot of loot. Mm -hmm. Terry was like, well, I ain't got no money. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got no money. Look, he got out of that real uh, quick. I got no money. She was like, I ain't on with your money. She said, matter of fact, go to do this real estate deal. When the cash start rolling in, divorce. I'm going to take the money. I'm divorced. Alimony. And, and I'm going to use that as my investment capital. I said, you go ahead now. I ain't mad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he ran game on you. Run so game. So you might well go and run some game on him. So we got... Freaking ghosts and tape, they on the TV interviewing and ghosts talking about the project. You know, same old thing. He was born and raised there, so you're ready to bring a ton around. Uh, so, we don't even matter at this point, just do the work. Yeah. <laughs> just do. I'm tired of them walking through the street. Yeah, walking through the street, just just do the work. So, we see got on Simon telling ghosts, say, you know, after this deal, you're going to be the new favorite black in New York. He should have punched him in his face soon he said that. But, but of then, course he can because yeah. you know he's a he in debt to to front freaking Simon because of got doing Tasha. So Ghost finds out that he supposed to have fifty one percent of the company, but, but Simon go making most of the money. The weight is off. Yeah, the weight is off. So we see later in the episode where he points that out to uh, freaking Tate. Tate. I said, okay, here we go. So we end up getting to the to the freaking meeting where the board is going to approve the project. So you remember Simon was saying, telling Ghost that I'm going to pitch it. You ain't going to pitch it. I'm going to do it. Uh huh. So he goes to pitch it. Everything likes to go through. They get ready to vote. And heck, I'm Tate. Uh, I got a question for you. Uh, in this contract, in um, page 5, section A, B, C, and D. Yeah, it says that Ghost is supposed to have... 51%, but it looks like you getting most of the cash. So I was like, uh, 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 uh you he know. He did a low uh, uh, What that happened uh, was. But my, my lawyer got it wrong, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him, we're gonna get it straight, we're gonna revise the contract, and da 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 They said until that contract is revised, meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. <laughs> I said, got done, but I knew when he did that, 
it was gonna be a catch to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> so we see them at the gala. We at the gala, right? Yeah, we had the yeah. Yeah, we at the gala. If we're not, we there now. Yeah, the gala for the what you call it. So this is what confused us at the gala. Uh, Angela's boss get up to announce who gonna be the new head of, over criminal. Cause mama, she was talking to him. She was like, she recommended said that she was gonna make either Mock or uh, what's his name? Don't matter. Don't even matter. <laughs> yeah, and she was like, why can't I do it? And she was like, no. If I was you and you was me, would you make you the head of the criminal? No. And she was like, no. No. So she get up there and so Mock, he, she said, you know, he come up and he's all proud and like he knew he got the spot. He put and his foot on the step, step. Go up there. And we'd like to announce <laughs> the new head of criminal. And he stepped on up there like he know he got it. And she said, Angela Valdez. He said, what the fuck? He said, what the heck? He said, this is a motherfucker. I, I was it confused too. too. Listen, <laughs> now this is what keeps getting on my nerves. Why? Why does Angela still always come out on top? Yeah, always trying, winning. And always it, winning. Maybe some kind of way they're going to spin this because it makes no sense. The boss had already said, look, it was your crap that almost took this guy doing um, department down. Yep. But it was also what you did for St. Patrick that actually saved our department. Okay. It don't make sense. Cause I know if I do some booze get in my job, they ain't about to make me the head or nothing. I'd be lucky if I still have a job. Heck yeah. I mean, yeah, she came through and it took the heat off of y'all. <clears throat> but don't forget what the hell she did already. Yep. Then you gonna make... I said maybe they making her head over something and they setting her hard parts up to, to take fail. Her, to take her down? To take her down. I hope so. Because they already know that when Mike was killed, that nobody else knew that he was in protective custody, but y'all in that room. Yep. Now all of a sudden, him dead. Yeah. Who leaked that? And don't for, don't forget, there was a camera, which we all look. Charlie Murphy told us half of them cameras don't be the, working. Uh -huh. But I saw a camera <laughs> up and over there. She bent down over that body and said it was for him. Did somebody hear that? Hmm. Cause it don't make no goddamn sense that Angela don't got a goddamn promotion. Yeah. It's I like don't. you go to Walmart and you work in the goddamn meat department, but you don't put your you don't put all the steaks and all the ribs in your goddamn trunk for the cookout. They catch you, but you bring <laughs> the steaks back, and they said, you know what? Because you brought them steaks back, you I'm gonna make it manage. <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> They all are working like, how the hell you get a promotion and you stole all that booze again? But I brought it back though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? But the only way I brought it back was because the feds was on my hind paw. That's the only way I brought it back. So the only way she confessed because he was on her hind paw. Wouldn't for that she wouldn't say nothing. No. She would have had all kinds of steaks and ribs at the cookout. Yeah. So Ghost kind of scared me a little bit because. He went up to her and started talking to her and congratulating her on the new They're gonna position. smash again. And I'm like, Ghost, you just done went down this road, plan. Don't, Come out the don't go place. back down this road, man, with her. It don't, it don't end well. It don't end well. So by this time, uh, Tate comes to, hey, St. Patrick, got somebody I want you to meet. This is uh, Alfonso. This is going to be Alphonse. our new. Alphonse. I said no. Alphonse. No, no. I'm used to Alfonso. Me too. Uh, Alphonse. He's going to be the new community liaison. He said, ain't that the dude that was on the corner the other day? on the corner right there. Yep. He, he said, said, he going straight. Take care of it. We're going to make him whole. And he was like, he said, I did that thing for you with Stern. So now it's time for you to reciprocate. I said, here we go. He said, make it happen. I said, I said, yep. Y'all called it though. Y'all said y'all don't trust Tate. Yeah, I didn't trust him. Yeah, yeah. He was a little too slick. Why well, we can't trust none of the black dudes on this show, man? And now you got me questioning Proctor because Proctor even want to get Angela on his side now. Yep. Talk about some, you know, with us as a team together. She we, said we can just, bend, we can bend the law together. She said you just don't want me across from you. That's all that is. <laughs> he was like, come on, baby, come on, baby, please help me out. Give me, <sighs> give me back. I need my money. <laughs> So we see uh, Tariq them at, at the school dance. Y'all remember that he was talking to Destiny, telling her that he getting ready to go to connect, connect to the school. 
So he was like, you know, can you break me off some lean before I go? She's like, I ain't got none, but I can get you some. Uh, so he said, well, you just go and meet me outside. Cause know. he tried to get her to go. She said, I ain't got no, I ain't got no clothes, clothes for that. No, yeah. So you meet me outside. I had really. a lean for you. And then we see in the episode where before they was getting ready to go, uh, he had texted her and come find her. It was Ray Ray trying to find out where he going to be at so he can roll up on him. So he had to dance, get the text, go outside. Hey, come Ray Ray. And Tariq was like, I ain't tell nobody nothing. I don't know nothing. We all good. I ain't a snitch. He did a little quick move though. So by this time, Ray Ray reached to go get the gun. Yeah, and uh, mm, Tariq. Tariq did a two step on boom, bop. And Ray Ray fell, fell on the floor. He did the Allen Iverson on him. You know, Allen Iverson back in the day. Do that crossover on you, boy. Break your ankles. That's what Tariq did to Ray Ray. So he took off running. He behind the thing. And here come Rain. I was like, God darn. Stupid. It was stupid, stupid. She stupid. said, you was the one that was at my school. I know who you is. You Ray Ray. You a Man, dirty cop. You a dirty cop. You better leave my brother alone because my dad and my mama going to kill you. I said, didn't Tariq just tell you to keep your mouth shut? Ray Ray. And, and Tariq would pick around the trash can. I was like, holla. Holla, say something. something. Whistle. Who Distract him because you know he getting ready to do. Boom. Shot Raina. And she just falls back. Like a little fallen angel. That's going to mess Ghost them up, boy. This is... Well, I know what's going to happen, so I can't yeah. even say. But it's about to go down, y'all. Mm. It's about to go down. That and Tariq that. looks over at, her, at his sister. And I said, this is the making of a murderer. Yep. God don't. But there were two scenes that didn't make no sense to me. They're going to uh, probably make sense about, next week. But the Kanan? Kanan went in there. He took down a whole apartment by his god doing self and then we had this girl she was um a waitress and she was busting a table had a tray in her hand and she notices saint patrick's voice. voice and she had a flashback when she was tied up somewhere and she dropped the tray and it went on from there so i'm like yeah what the so hell hopefully. is happening so there's so, only one more episode left so yeah I, hopefully hopefully it will come to come together yeah so we'll see y'all next week yeah. Hopefully, if we feel like doing it. Straight from the VA. <laughs> the dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.